Well, he made his mark on the world powering home in the 1500 metres freestyle, taking gold at the Sydney Olympics. And this week, Grant Hackett is returning to the water. Much, much cooler water for a very important cause. And he joins us now from Brighton, Victoria. Good Hackie. morning, Grant. Hope you're not heading to the airport this morning. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, certainly not. I'm actually flying out tomorrow, so I was like, thank goodness I'm not there this morning going back through security. It's been a bit of a nightmare lately, but anyway, you just got to go with the flow, don't you? should be fixed up by this time tomorrow morning, but oh. if it's not, we'll be crossing to you. Uh, tell us all about what you're doing, big fella. <laughs> Uh, so this week, Friday the 14th of October, I'm taking part in the Children's Cancer Institute. It's the CEO Dare to Cure. So there's plenty of physical challenges that you can do as a CEO or a business leader where we're raising money. We're going for $1.75 in total. We're getting very, very close to it. We're at $1.6 right now. But you can do all sorts of challenges. So you can do anything from the F45 fitness course. You can do the Brave Shave. You can either do the noggin or you can do the full beard, depending on what you like. You know, a lot of people love their beards these days, don't they, Carl? Unlike you, clean. <laughs> cut shaven man you do the top part and then um and of course the ice bath challenge which is something i used to do a lot as an athlete for recovery but i haven't done it in many years and i'm not looking forward to it because it's not a part of the sport that i enjoyed at all but no. it's for a great cause so are you tough enough you're going to be able to cope with this <laughs> I don't know. I reckon I've gotten softer, Ali, just quietly. Yeah. Like over the years, like just my, my comfort. So I'm not I'm not used to getting up at 4:45. I'm not used to jumping in, you know, three to four degree water to, to do my recovery sessions. But you know, when it comes to you know the Children's Cancer Institute and the great work that they're doing there, and and the impact that you can see directly in results on everything that they're actually participating in, and obviously investing in when it comes to curing childhood cancer is quite amazing. So I'm definitely taking the dip and, and raising a few bucks at the same time, which is great. All right. So so. I I am experienced at the ice bath, not mm. so much the, the athletic stuff that happens at that hour of the morning. Um, I've done my share fair of them live on, on, on the national television on the Today Show. Have a look. Mm. Yeah, he's jumping in. Oh All right. God. In we go. In we go. Oh. OK. <laughs> Start the clock. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you need any advice, you, you, Hacky, at all? You sounded or? like you took it like a man, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's, 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 it's one of those things where yeah. I remember getting in the ice bath where you just dip in and you stay still. It's almost like there's yeah. this heat barrier that goes across you, but as soon as you move when you're in the ice bath, it just gets cold again yeah. and hits you again. Mm. It's funny. People used to say, oh, geez, it must be hard doing a 1,500-metre freestyle. I said, well, try doing the ice bath after every single session. Oh. That's actually the tough stuff. <laughs> All right, if you want to donate, um, go to CEO Dare to Cure, um, CEO Dare to Cure .org .au and donate. Mm. Um, it's a terrific thing you're raising money for, big fellow, and it's great to see you, Grant. We'll see you in Melbourne in a couple of weeks' time. Well done, Grant. Love Sounds it. good. Thanks very much for the support, guys. Pleasure, Cheers. Pleasure.